Have you ever wanted to get Snapchat filters like this or like this cartoon filter for your live streams on Twitch or YouTube? What about this nightmare one, this baldless one? Just I'm preparing you guys right now. I would not look good bald. What about Shrek himself? Yes, the almighty Shrek himself or even Mega Mind. Or for the retro fans out there, there's even a Game Boy printer filter. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? So I'm going to show you how to download Snapcam today. I'm going to show you how I personally incorporated into my stream. And also, one last thing is I'm going to show you how to add it to Stream Deck so that you just have to press one simple button to change each filter to your liking. So let's just go ahead and get started. So what you're going to do first, you're going to go over to snapcamera.snapchat.com as you see on the top of the screen. And then you're going to hit download. Now, once you get to this page, it'll show you the system requirements, operating system, Windows 10, 64 bit or newer and Mac OS. So that means it will work on Macs. So then you go to the snap camera license agreement, come all the way down here. I have read the privacy policy and agreed to the snap camera license agreement and the terms of service. But let's be honest, nobody reads those anyway. So we'll go ahead and click that. And then hit the I'm not a robot beep boop beep boop. And then you will download this for the PC or Mac. And then once you install it, you will then load it up and it'll show you this right here. So once you get to here, if it is not showing up on your screen, and even if it is, let's go up here to the settings on the top, right? Choose your camera. I am using a live gamer mini, which is a capture card for my DSLR camera. Choose the camera resolution. I have 1920 by 1080 60 frames per second, but just a fair warning. Um, OBS studio does not allow the snap camera to do 60 FPS. It'll actually only do 30 FPS. So just a warning. I choose your microphone. I don't really use a microphone with this, so we can just go ahead and go back. So once you have it showing right here, you can then go over to your OBS. And then add a video capture device. As you see, I already have it on mine right there. Go over to properties and then change the device to snap camera. After you do this, you can change the resolution to 1920 by 1080. And then the FPS, obviously, like I said before, it only does 30 frames per second. The video format is any and then color space is 709 or 601. You can pick whichever one looks best for you. So after this, you will then go over to OK. Click OK. And then there you go. After this, you will then come over to snap cam again. And then just add whatever one you want to add, like the Pixar one to your favorites. You come up here to the top left. It'll show all your favorites right here. Click this little lens hotkey right here, and then you can adjust whatever hotkeys you want for it to work. So I have mine for alt plus number five, six, seven, eight, four, three, and nine. You get the hang, you know, you, you get the picture. Let's be honest. So after this, the way that you can incorporate this into stream deck is actually going into your stream deck. Remind me later. I don't want to download that right now. And then you will just straight up add a hotkey from your system for that actual hotkey. So, you know, alt plus number four, and then just name it, whatever title you can even take a picture of the filter just so that you don't forget. And then that's how you add it to your stream deck. Simple, right? So the way that I actually incorporate this into my streams, let me show you, you know, little, little self promotion, but Hey, be sure to follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash GS But how I incorporate this into my actual streams is I have a surprise daily GS filter that I actually change every single stream day just so that people can do it. And you know, it's just kind of neat to have something different every single stream day. Also have the other ones set up. Um, these are not automatic. I'm sure that there are programs out there that can automatically do those functions for you. 
whenever somebody redeems it but it's honestly not very hard to press a button or two buttons to change a filter with that being said guys thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope this video helped you out so so much and if it did please consider hitting that subscribe button the notification ding ding and don't forget to like the video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace